Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Well, today we've got taking things a step further from the reset switch idea. If you remember the last video showed how you can connect up a reset switch to P6. This video I decided it would be a fun experiment to try and see if I could actually get the Pi to reset itself using a relay across that switch. So we're using one of the GPIO ports to send a signal to this Darlington array which then switches this relay from the normally closed position uh, becomes open and it basically shorts those two wires together which is the same as shorting the pins on the reset button. So I've written a little Python script to run that and we'll have a look on screen in a moment and see how well that works. It's not particularly useful, it's just a bit of fun. So what I've got here is an opto-isolated two-relay PCB, which is, which is actually designed for Arduino, but it can be made to work quite easily with the Pi. I've connected the red to the 5 volt output from the Pi's GPIO port, black to earth, and the two wires on the right are just directly to the P6 header. When the normally open position goes to closed, when GPIO port 25 is set to high, then the reset header is effectively shorted. I'm using the Darlington array again this time because the two relay Arduino board activates the relay when it gets a low signal and from the GPIO ports you get a high signal. So this is using the same technique to invert the signal that I did with the LED last week. Okay, now you've got a blank screen. I'm just going to type out the name of the program. So we've got we need to use sudo sudo because it uses the GPIO ports and python because it's a Python program and it's called Reset, so it's R E S E T dot P Y. And then we'll see what happens. It asks me, Are you sure you want to reset? And I'll show you what happens if you say no. Okay, not resetting. To change your mind, rerun the program. That's fair enough. Let's run it again and say yes this time and see what happens. Are you sure you want to reset? Yes, I am this time. OK, syncing file system. Oh, look. Sync the file system and then waited a second. And then it's reset. You might have heard the relay click as well. So now it's busy rebooting the computer. And now it wants me to log in, although I think that's slightly off the bottom of the screen. Okay, let's clear it up and I'll show you what the script looks like. Okay, let's have a look at the reset.py program. So I'm going to type nano reset.py. That brings up the program on the screen. The first line is a shebang, which is required if you want to run it from another command or from directly from the command line. The next line is a comment. This line here, import RPI GPIO as GPIO, is uh, imports the RPI GPIO module which handles the general purpose input output ports. Import sys and OS, those are two other modules we use. We use the sys in this exit command here which jumps out of the program if we don't want to go in a particular direction and this OS is used in the sync command down here where we actually, I'll explain that in a moment but those modules are required and we also require the sleep function from the time module which we use down here where we want to wait for one second and here where we want to wait for ten seconds 
So the next thing we do is we start setting up the GPIO ports using this line here that sets the GPIO system we're using to with the BCM numbers which is the Broadcom, Broadcom port numbers. In the next line we're actually deciding which port to use. We're going to use port 25 and we're going to set it up as an output. Okay. Once we've done that the GPIO system is ready for us to use it. So we want to take a final confirmation from the user. Are you sure you want to reset Y or N? The raw input function prints out the question and we put the answer to the question that the user inputs into the variable answer. So the next line asks the, com the computer a question if the answer that the user input is not equal to Y and is not equal to yes, so they could either put Y or yes to carry on with the reset, but if they don't do either of those we're going to print OK, not resetting. To change your mind, rerun the program. Then it cleans up the GPIO ports and exits the program. If you did type Y or yes, it goes into the next lot, which is enclosed in a try except keyboard interrupt block. What this does is it enables, if you just press Control C to end the program early, it cleans up the GPIO ports before it exits. OK, so if we have decided we want to go ahead with the reset, the computer prints out OK, syncing file system, then resetting. Then it sends using the OS system function, it sends the command sync to the operating system. And it puts the return code into a variable called command. Now if the return code is zero, it means the command executed successfully. So if it did execute successfully, assuming the sync was successful, what the sync does is it makes sure that the file system is flushed so that there won't be any reads or writes to or from the SD card while we're trying to reset. This is important because if you try to reset while the SD card is being written to, it can cause file corruption and it can actually mess up your SD card and you then have to reflash the operating system, which is a bit of a nuisance. So, assuming that went ahead successfully, it shows you sync successful, resetting now. Then it waits for one second, and then it sets the GPI, GPIO output number 25 to 1, which is high, which basically sends a signal to the Darlington array, which sends a signal to the relay, which closes and effectively shorts the two pins on header P6, which is the same as pressing the reset button to make the BCM processor reset. Now, that under normal circumstances, if you've got all the wiring connected up properly, that will close the program in an unnatural way by resetting the whole computer. But if for some reason that doesn't happen, for example, if you haven't remembered to put your wires on, after 10 seconds, this sleep 10 waits for 10 seconds and then shuts the output output off and prints a message. I think you forgot to connect your wires. Connect them up again and rerun the program. Then it cleans up the GPIO ports and exits gracefully. And that's how it works. Again, let's run the script again. sudo python reset dot py. Are you sure you want to reset? Yes. I'm going to unplug one of the reset wires and show you what happens. So I've told it I want to reset and the program's trying to reset. You even heard the relay click but because I've dis disconnected one of the wires from P6 it can't reset the computer. So what it's doing is it's waiting 10 seconds and then it says I think you forgot to connect your wires. Connect them and rerun the program. So let's do that. Let's connect them up and rerun the program. Are you sure you want to reset? Yes. Relay clicks off and we get a reset. So it works beautifully.
it's not very much use, as I said before, because you can do it in different ways. But it works, and it's there if anybody wants it or needs it. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.